multiplying a negative times a negative is in fact more and more challenging lessons for a lot of students. I'm going to break it down for you and I'm going to explain why a negative times a negative is a positive. We're going to start with, again, back to money examples because everybody loves money, right? You have a $20 bill, but you need to pay Katie back for two burgers. Okay, and so basically you went out with Katie a couple times and she paid $3 for the burger twice, so you owe her $3, right? So basically, you are, basically once you pay her back, you only have $14. Even though you have 20 in your pocket, you owe her three. Now, here's the thing. Let's say Katie decides you don't have to pay her back for the burgers. So in fact, the $14 that you would only have if you paid her, you now can add the $3 back. In other words, you're taking the debt away and you're taking the that away twice, since you owe to $3 twice, you're taking it away twice. So what ends up happening is when you're subtracting a negative, you end up adding it and you're taking 14 and adding six back and you, you get to keep the $20 in your pocket. Another way of writing this is negative three times negative two. In other words, you're taking the debt away twice, the debt of $3, you're taking it away twice. So you're multiplying negative three times negative two is a positive six. So that's one way to look at a negative times a negative, even if it is a little bit more abstract than, say, a positive times a positive or a positive times a negative. The other way that I like to teach this is the number line. So let's start with what negative 3 actually looks like. Well, it's actually just a hump from 0 to negative 3, like so. Now, when you're taking away something, you're moving it the opposite direction. So notice the arrow is pointing to the left. But if I take that away twice, I would take that arrow and move it backwards once and then move it backwards again, and I end up at 6. To me, this is the way I remember why a negative times a negative is a positive. Again, you're taking the original negative 3 and you're backing it up twice on the number line to end up at 6. I love this illustration and it really helps me, although I know other students might make more sense for them to look at this example of getting uh, the money back that you would owe for the burgers or just taking debt away basically multiple times. Okay, So the shortcut basically though is if you just take 3 times 2 and you, you get 6, right? And then you would just take a negative on the end of that to give you negative 6. Let me fix that for example. That should say actually positive 6. Um, so negative 3 times negative 2 is the same as 3 times 2. They're both positive. And that's another way of looking at it. Um, here's another example. Negative 5 times negative 4 is 20, right? But it's the same as 5 times 4, which is 20. So another way of thinking about it is, notice both of these have the same sign. They're both negative. But so do 5 and 4. They're both positive. So if you have two of the same sign, the answer is going to be positive. And yet another way of looking at that is, look, we have two negatives here. If you were to take those two, if you were taking the second negative and flip it up and put it with that one, what would you get? You would get a positive symbol back. That's yet another way of looking at, you know, basically visually, if you just put two negatives together, you get a positive back. Okay, so here's another one. Negative 8 times negative 12 would just be the same as 8 times 12, which is 96. So that's what a negative times a negative is. It's a positive. And another way of looking at that is algebraically. If you have a negative a number, say negative 12 or whatever, times negative b, say it's negative 10, you're going to get just a times b. In this case, 12 times 10, which is 120. So that's a negative times a negative. But again, for me, the number line example makes the best sense. You're taking the number, which is normally negative, and you're backing it up so many number of times since you're multiplying by a negative. In this case, negative 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And in fact, this one would have, if you did the whole thing and drew the whole thing out, it would look like this. Okay. In other words, you're taking negative 3 and you're backing it up twice to get at positive 6. So let's do some examples together. Example 1, negative 12 times negative 14. I drew the number line out, but for most students, you know, you, you, you draw the number line out first to show them why it is, and then once you do that, you know, you get you understand the rule that a negative times a negative is a positive. So in this case, we have a negative times a negative, we know it's going to be positive. And so we're just going to do um, 12 times 14, which is, say 12 times 12 is 1, 
44. We're going to add 24 to that, so that's 168. Okay, and we did do a, a negative times a negative, so I guess we should show that. But again, they the two negatives become a positive. Let's do a couple more, negative 5 times negative 7. Well, we know that 5 times 7 is equal to 35, right? Okay, and since a negative times a negative is a positive, then that just concludes that negative 5 times negative 7 is also 35. And again, you can think about the number line, uh, but once you know the rule, you don't really have to draw the number line. Just be sure to know that a negative times a negative is a positive. Last example, negative 9 times negative 9. Okay, so we know that 9 times 9 is 81. So that must mean that negative 9 times negative 9 is positive 81. That's it for multiplying a negative times a negative. If you have any other questions about this lesson, let me know.